Pros and cons of buying a one bedroom versus a two bedroom condo for investments. My name is Arthur and I've been living and working in the San Hills Beach area and running a real estate business for over 10 years and want to share some information and tips here on my channel. There's a lot to consider when deciding on whether to purchase a one bedroom versus a two bedroom. One big item to consider is if you plan to be renting it and what is the area of the condo you're looking at. If you're located in a more family oriented city, such as Aventura, then a two bedroom makes more sense as there are a lot more families and it would be a lot easier to rent a two bedroom versus a one bedroom. If you're looking at areas like Brickell, where there's a younger crowd that has a higher rate of singles, then a one bedroom can make more sense as it will be easier to rent for a single person as they would most likely not need the extra bedroom and the cost would be better. In some cases, a one bedroom can cost the same or more than a two bedroom because of the location, amenities in the building, age of the building, etc. Location is definitely a factor in resale value and you would need to look at the, how the area is growing and what potential rentals are going for. And are there any new projects in the area that will cause prices to go up? Would you rather have a more expensive one bedroom but in a luxury building on the beach or a two bedroom in an older building but across the street? What is the demographic in the area you're choosing? Another factor to consider is the school district. If the area you wish to purchase is located in a very desirable school district, then investing in a two bedroom makes more sense, as you will have more families that are looking to rent or potentially buy in the area. Whereas a one bedroom would not make sense, especially with the occupancy rules in most buildings, where it is a two person occupancy rule for one bedroom, which does not work for most families. Whereas the two bedroom is a four person occupancy. There are pros and cons to both and many factors should be considered, location being the big one. It all comes down to the area, school district, demographic, and quality of buildings. I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave your comment or reach out to me. Also, please subscribe to my channel to continue to receive useful information about the real estate market in Sunny Isles and South Florida. Thank you.